My name is John D. McGovern and we're based here just outside Milton Malbay, just on the West Clare coast, about two kilometres from the sea. Typical Irish climate, today is beautiful, but it could be raining in an hour's time. Very, very windy, quite wild and exposed. The Harris Corner project was referred to me by a friend a couple of years ago. They came down and did a site visit and they came back with their takings and recommendations. We dug a pond last November and then we established a native woodland and a couple of months ago planted a mini orchard. So the pond is about 8 metres by 10 metres. It filled naturally, um, it's got no lining. The site is on a, on a slope so there's a natural fall towards the pond. Um, and already, even after six months, we can start seeing some vegetation take hold on the edges. We had a heron last week, but he just he, he stopped over and flew away, so it's starting to get noticed. The, the mini woodland, um, it just consists of all native trees, alder, uh, birch, hawthorn, spindle, holly, oak. They were planted um, back in January. Uh, the alder and the hawthorn doing very, very well. Um, and the oak, lesser so, it's going to be a little slower growing. A few of them have been nipped by hares, um, but uh, actually there's still, there's still uh, buds coming lower down, so we don't mind seeing the hare here. Happy, happy to have them. The orchard is just seven apple trees, uh, only planted there a couple of months back and I'm currently erecting a fence around it just to provide some shelter from the wind. The field is two and a half acres and um, I'm kind of taking it initially like, like phase one and uh, I intend to adding more woodland next year and the year after. So it's kind of, it's gradual um, and it's come a long way in the last year. Two years ago it was heavily grazed with cattle and um, we've basically left nature run its course since then with the help of the tree schemes. Um, you can see already the biodiversity increasing. I studied um, wildlife and environmental management but I graduated back in 97 and uh, there wasn't, it was a small field at the time, there wasn't a huge amount of opportunities and I drifted away from it but now I'm just kind of dipping my toe back in and uh, it's great to have it as an interest. Well, the main highlight or learnings would be even just that working a little bit with the land and how rewarding it is and uh, just having a connection with nature. It's just basically like how, how rewarding that is, even if it's only five minute walk or if it's a couple of hours of planting trees, that'd be the highlight. I have three children, 11 year old, seven year old and a three year old. They'll always follow me down and all questions and curiosity and I guess the, they'll probably, I won't see the trees come to maturity, but they may or their children down the line. I never expected that I'd be growing oak in West Clare. It's lovely to see them take hold. Um, the birch would be a personal favourite as well. If you have a little bit of land and you're wondering how to encourage the wildlife, increase the biodiversity, do your little bit, it's certainly worth talking to the Hare's Corner. It's quite possible one or if not all their three schemes could sit in with what you're planning.